I mean, are you kidding me? I need to cut like zillions of apples for this. This is good morning. How are you in guess which language? It's not Finnish, but it's actually very, very close because Finnish and Hungarian are the only two languages that sound very similar from the European languages. So that was a pretty good guess. Today we are heading out to the dog park and my boyfriend said, please do not wear like a 7,000 euro handbag and then the dogs are jumping on it because when I see dogs, I do not care what I'm wearing. I do not care what's going on. The world can stop. I'm with the dogs, so that's how excited I get. I put on a puffer jacket today, boots that are already dirty, I'm wearing a nylon bag which can be washed, and we're heading to the dog park, I'm so happy. Here is my outfit in total. I mean, I probably don't really need the scarf, but I think it's gonna be very cold. You've seen my Montclair jacket a few times before, it's quite cold. My Levi's, the boots, and accessories. Coffee is here as always. It's so cold this morning that I don't even think I can make it. Xenia and Jorgen are running late, like what, half an hour late, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it to wait for them because it's so cold, very sad, because I was very much looking forward to meeting Ru. I might still go to the dog park. Let's go through this gate here in Louvre. We're going to our little park, which is in between Louvre and Jardin de Tuileries. It's the only place where the dogs can actually come because they're not allowed in parks in Paris. It looks like the sun is coming out and I really hope so because it's so freaking cold. Actually, you can see that it's cold because there's not as many dogs. Normally, there's a lot more dogs in here. Dogs are so cute. I cannot handle it. Hi! Hi! Look at these little beagles. They're playing. They're so cute. There's a little group of these barking ones. And then the German Shepherd, which I, by the way, love. If I had a house, I would definitely get a German Shepherd. And then the little brown pinch, or pincher, I think, is what I used to have when I was a child. I had, we had this dog for many, many years. He was my best friend. And then there's the happy squad over here. The ginger one is so cute. I love the ginger one. It's beautiful. Over here, this is flirting, you see? They're kind of fighting, but actually they really like each other. Finally, it was worth it's the wait. Uh, it's so cute. I was waiting for you. She's so jumpy and cute and happy. <laughs> but she loves people. Yeah. Always the best way to spend my mornings. Now Geraldine came as well for her kids. So it's like dogs and kids and friends. And it's really nice because... Oh my god, Adam is so happy with the room. I froze. I'm alone at the moment because I said goodbye to everybody. I'm just gonna walk a little bit home, even though it's very cold, but I feel like it's good for me. I'm starving. It's 12.30 and I haven't had any food yet. I'm thinking, should I treat myself to something really delicious from the bakery or should I make porridge? I wasn't gonna do this, I was gonna do this, but then I thought I'm gonna go straight home. But now I'm thinking that I'm gonna go to the opera, Uniqlo, because I wanna get some gloves. It's so cold and both of us, we need gloves. Let's bring you with me. Here's a little sneak peek of opera for you guys that would love to be in Paris but cannot come. It's truly, honestly, a spectacular place. I love it. And Uniqlo is just around the corner. Actually, I really like these puffers at Uniqlo. They have so many. I love Uniqlo for basic wardrobe needs. You know, you can get really anything. And you can get good materials, like merino wool, cashmere, good cotton, heat tech, everything. I mean, you get a 100% cashmere turtleneck for less than 100 euros and I want some really good socks as well. Finished at Uniqlo, they have so much stuff and now I'm gonna get some food, maybe some nice pastries at the Lafayette Gourmet and then we go home. Happy to chill a little bit today. Oh wow, look at this little Christmas market where you can get all the cute stuff for home. 
the like stars with cinnamon oh um gee oh my god like i seriously feel like i needed this this is delicious we managed to somehow have a conversation and i was saying how much i love the cinnamon the lady's giving me a little bag i mean she's not giving me i'm buying a little bag okay let's go in here okay i have this very near to my house so i'm not gonna look at that way but the rest i am not gonna guarantee uh, it's not good that I come here hungry, very hungry, seriously. Who can say no to this? Now, if they have like cinnamon stuff, I'm buying it 100%. <laughs> looks like they have something that looks like panettone, but I really want to try and make a panettone during this vlogmas. Oh, looks like they have many pastries, guys, but the queue here is just, like insane. It's called Chemonier. Over here are the ice creams. I mean, uh, this is just insane. Sobe which I love by the way <gasps> look at this ice cream matcha the first problem is I don't have a dish to bake an apple tart so I think I'm gonna have to call my mom and ask her which one I need to buy because I want to make an apple tart or even a carrot cake and a panettone but I think I'm just being too optimistic and none of that is gonna happen I really admire you people who are good at this I really really admire you like my sister I sent her what I want to do she sent me what dish I need now, I, she sent me also a recipe. She makes a, a mean apple tart. Like my sister makes amazing stuff. So now I'm gonna try and find everything that I need, which is very random, like applesauce. Honestly, guys, I've never seen applesauce ever in my life shopping. Where does applesauce even go with the jams? You know, things like puff pastry. Where can I find puff pastry in the supermarket? I guess in, in the freezer, like. I only buy stuff that I know. What are the questions? Clementine Mia Bear and Claude. Very confusing. This seems very good. Pome. That's an apple, I think. With cinnamon. Mmm, yummy. What do I need? Puff pastry, sweet apple, sweet apple sauce. Okay. Six apples, two tablespoons, caster sugar, butter. I think I have egg. Uh, I think I have bao bai. Double cream. What? I have a vanilla pot. I need icing sugar, caster sugar. <sighs> what? The best of all is my sister know knows that I get kind of a little overwhelmed in a supermarket. She also sends me pictures of her children because that always, always makes me so happy. I was like, I'll never find the filo pastry and then I think that this is it, right? It looks like it. I hope that's what it is, filo pastry. I buy both. I don't know, maybe the first one will fail. Oh, and maybe it's this. Third is the brick. No, maybe not, I don't know. I think the hardest thing to find will be like the cream, you know, the double cream because such a particular thing that sometimes... Ah, what is this? Let's check. I don't think this is what I'm supposed to buy, but I'll buy it. Ah, I think I can see some applesauce. Okay, this is not very helpful. Double cream in French, double crème. Let's try this way. Serbian, thank you. Schlag. This is not... Not English, oh my god. Serbian. This is better. So we're looking for creme for fouet, which is kind of what I got, isn't it? Is this or not? Oh god, this is hulot. Great. Okay, let's search here. Homage blanc. This is not it, this is what she is. I'll have to ask someone because I'm really not sure where I'm gonna find the double cream. Creme fresh, double cream, is that it? I think so, I hope so. Florette de Normandie, sounds good. Shall we buy two? I don't know, how much do I need? Oh my god, I need to check. So far, this is not looking good, is it? But it's okay, we're going to the apples. These are the apples that you usually use for apple tart, I think. The recipe says Granny, Granny Smith, and I think that's what it is. Now let's weigh this. Bonjour! Pour je bois un kilo de pommes, s'il vous plaît? Bien sûr, madame, si gentiment demandé. The only thing left is the sugar and the caster sugar. Okay, this is the crystal sugar and there's the apple tart on it, so you know what I mean. That's the sugar, but caster sugar is... Ha! Sugar blanc! Oh no, maybe not. Yes, the sugar in powder. Hello, look at... But it doesn't sound like sugar in powder. I think this is it. We got it, guys. Guys, this is all I need. I just remember one more thing I need, it's the, that's not on the list, pack papier, which is the paper for baking, you know, the one that you put under the cake, and I have no idea where I'm gonna find that, literally. And how do you even say pack papier in English? 
nevertheless in French. I'm learning, I'm learning. I feel like doing the little victory dance. Can you guys dance with me? Because is this it? Back papier, papier cousin, papel para horno. Oui, that's what I need. I am winning. Improvising, I'm gonna get the caramel as well because I mean, apple tart with caramel is like the best thing in the world, right? But I could easily buy everything here. Which I guess kind of proves that I maybe shouldn't be so bad at this, right? No more vlogging until I get home because this is so heavy and I have so much stuff now. So Uber and home. I had a hat, a mask, crossbody bag, carrying the camera, this fluffy puffy jacket which is warm when you're inside, hoodie underneath, oh my god, carrying like the, you know, the dishes for baking, carrying the Uniqlo stuff, carrying the, then like the shopping from the supermarket, then I went to the bakery and then I got some like baked stuff as well even though I'm gonna bake today. Honestly, I'm so drenched and tired now from like carrying, like physically, my, my muscles hurt. I'm struggling with some basic things here because I'm so used to my other stuff that I do that I want to struggle a little bit with basic things so I can develop and I can become better and I need to improve in so many different things so that I can generally grow as a person. So that's the mission. And doing all of that in a country where I don't even speak the language. I was very proud of myself today because I managed to communicate everything. I managed to find everything. I was later waiting for an Uber on a big boulevard on the Boulevard Osman. I texted the Uber driver to say, I'm gosh, I'm on the left side. So I saw him actually, because he was driving on the right and then he turned left when he saw my message. So I was very happy because I'm managing to communicate stuff so that my life is getting easier. You know, the little victories, I guess. Right now, we gotta unpack what I purchased in the supermarket, which is, I know, not very innovative and creative since I've done that yesterday in the vlog. So I'm not gonna do that again, but I'm gonna put everything away and then we might even attempt to bake an apple tart. I've never done one before. I decided to buy this for the tart. It's the sort of, you know, like you bake it in there and then you can easily take it out if it gets stuck. I also got the silicone things because this I actually know how to use. It's for like muffins and stuff like that. This is like foldable, so you can put it in a drawer. Basically, you can fold it. Fold it like this, yes. There you go. So fold it and then unfold it when you use it. I love that and I know how to use these silicone thing is very well, thank god, at least something. Then I got this thing as well, where you make usually things like kind of flour based cakes, so you can open it. Like I said, I never really cooked or baked much in my life, but I always assisted my mom in the kitchen. Since my mom is really my best friend, I always would talk to her while she would bake. So she would be in the kitchen and I would come by, steal some of the things that she's whipping and I would be like, okay, um, you know, talking to her about the boyfriends, when I was, you know, not boyfriends, but like the little crush and stuff like that. And I would speak to her about all these things, about life, about school, whatever. So I watched a lot, but I just didn't really do a lot on my own. For my boyfriend, I was like, I'm gonna bake. And he said, I'm not sure you should do that while I'm not around. Yeah, but I will because I'm very impatient as a person and I like to do whatever I like to do when I like to do it. So it's happening. I just called my sister to tell her that I'm gonna bake this because obviously she helped me tell me what kind of thing that I need for baking. And I told her, you know what? I, I wanted to kind of let her know. I was like, I, I, I found it so hard to find everything in the supermarket. And I hate when people say things like, this is so hard, this is so difficult. I am normally a very empathic person, but I don't have empathy when people say like, oh my God, like, you know, it's so hard in a foreign country doing this. I'm like, just translate it, you know? But honestly, I tried it and I was like, this is so difficult. Am I really like not really good at this at all? Or what is it? So I told my sister, who I think is one of the most intelligent people in the world. And I told her and she said, honestly, I know because 
I struggled so much in France because nothing looks like it looks in Italy or in Spain or anywhere else in Europe. I don't know how to do this because I've never actually cooked anything or shown you how I've done anything, but I'm gonna try and show you a bit by bit. Greased it up a bit with butter, even though it probably won't be needed because this is quite greasy. Now I'm gonna place this inside of the pot. Okay, this step was very easy, it looks horrible, I know. I'm gonna put it in the fridge for 10 minutes because that's what the recipe says. While I have um, that thing kind of get stiff in the fridge for 10 minutes, I am going to cut the apples because that's like step four or five. So I want to be ahead and do this really fast. So far, the hardest thing is chopping the apples because my apples are not coming out as they come looking on the apple tart. This is just one apple, by the way. While the oven is preheating, I've added this, which is the apple kind of compote. And I've also added this, which is caramel de pomme something and cinnamon. And it tastes delicious. So I mixed it all placed it in and now I'm supposed to put apples but guys this whole apple situation is taking so long <sighs> wish me good luck I mean are you kidding me I need to cut like zillions of apples for this my mom she has this little thing which is round and you just place it inside and it like makes a hole in this that makes it much easier me I don't have that but I have something that you use to close the champagne bottle it looks like this I think that's what it is for right but I can use it for whatever I want <laughs> this is the best I can do now we need to do the egg yolk and a bit of butter and we're done. You probably can't see, I've just put it in. On top there's a bit of butter because my mom said put it because otherwise it's kind of dry. That's all. I put a little bit of vanilla sugar instead of custard sugar. It's not custard sugar but I put a tiny bit of vanilla sugar and let's see what it's gonna be like. It should be 180. And why I don't like to bake is this. So now we have to, well, tidy all of this. Disinfected the surfaces, cleaned everything, gonna do the dishes, and in time when the tart is ready, the kitchen will be tidy as well. Ladies and gentlemen, my first ever apple tart. I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna show it to you nicer. This is after half an hour on 180 Celsius. It gets a little bit golden and crusty and I'm so excited to see what it's gonna turn out like. Here we go. I mean, for someone who's done this the first time ever in their life, this house smells insanely beautiful. I guess the apples have tilted a little bit to one side, but that's okay. I'm very curious to see what it tastes like. Now that that's done, I'm just making, I'm boiling a kettle, that's what's loud, because I feel like I haven't had enough coffee today. Now that the cake is baked, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna head out to supermarket. There's a bit of a like, home section, very basic, but I like it. And I'm gonna try and get that little thing with the glass bell that you put a cake that you've just baked on a table, especially around Christmas time. Is there a word for that? By the way, this hat is the best purchase, hands on this winter because it's just so flattering every time i put it on i feel like it looks cute i'm not so sure they're gonna have that i want it very basic nothing special the one place where i know i could find it villa Rimbach. it's a little bit too far for me to walk i feel like it would have been up there but no oh, so disappointed because i really wanted it now nada niente nichts nista so now let me just go back put my tail down and go back home. Since I'm already out and I brought my camera, I thought I'd show you some of the interesting buildings around here. I love this one. Look at the balcony on top. There's a neighbor over there with lights on. She's got the most insane uh, light that sadly the camera won't show, but look at this building here. Looks like half is missing. Love that. And I love these terraces, little balconies. One thing I don't like is this building here. It's very like, I don't know, too modern for all of this around. Since I couldn't find what I went for, at least I bought some cool colors because you guys know I can't live without it. So let's go home. Um, as you can imagine, I spent a large portion of the afternoon or the past hour sending all of my friends the picture of my apple tart just to show them that I've done it. Also my sister, I sent a picture to my sister and she said that you have some hidden, well hidden, almost like concealed <laughs> skills. Concealed. Really well done. Can we go for a apple pie? Well, we're going to make one right now. Shall we make one? Are you feeling hungry? Yes, totally. I want to do an apple pie now. 
I miss Stefan so much. I just shared the picture with them. So, oh, I miss him so much. And it's so funny, like my dad, whenever I say like, oh, I'm not really good at this, you know, my dad always says, you, not good at something. And you should imagine my dad being like a highly critical and very serious man. He loves to criticize me, but when I criticize myself, he always defends me. So I say like, you know, I'm not really good at that. You're not good at something. You are good at everything. The way my father praises me when I am not praising myself, like if I'm criticizing myself, it's so funny. And my mom said I did very well and she said she would love to try a piece. Cooking is actually nice because you always get feedback from other people as well. Guys, a very important thing that I noticed we haven't done today. Where is it? Number 16. It's kind of dark now. I'm sorry about that. Here we have another soak off. This one's a bit darker reddish and sparkly. Let's see. Powerful strength, line reducing and dark circle diminishing vitamin C I serum. That sounds actually divine. And over here, another carousel. This time, oh, I couldn't pull it out. This time it's in navy color. We have reached to 9.45 of this day, day number 16 of Vlogmas. So how many more days left? Eight? I am actually really enjoying it this year because it's a little bit more... It's just me naturally. It's nothing, you know... Nothing stressful, nothing overwhelming. Really enjoy doing this. I'm vlogging every single day. I'm showing you how I really am and everything that's going on. I wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful feedback, for all of your kind words. I feel like my Vlogmas has never been more watched, even though I'm pretty sure that I have given better content before, you know, when we went to like Finland or last year to Amsterdam and Berlin and Switzerland but I suppose you guys also like to see something different you know I can't just give you every single year the same content travel snow I wanted to say thank you I wanted to say that I'm very grateful for you guys and I am gonna leave the electronic devices now I'm gonna put camera to charge I'm gonna transfer all the material from today to the computer and I will see you in tomorrow's vlog bye guys